We're nearing the anniversary of a very eventful weather day here in West Michigan. On April 21st, 1967, a tornado in Grand Rapids was one of 10 tornadoes in our area that day. Bill Steffen joins us now from his man cave to tell us more about what's been called Black Friday. So Bill, tell us a little bit about the tornadoes that hit that day and just how powerful they were. Well, this was an amazing day across uh, southern Michigan and northern Illinois. Uh, we had 10 tornadoes here in West Michigan, if you count the Lansing area. One was an F4, one an F3. We had six of them that were F2. And uh, the one that came through the Grand Rapids area specifically was an EF3. And winds on that would have been around 120 to 130 miles an hour. So this is a pretty significant tornado. The path of the tornado was uh, from southwest of Granville, came up into the Granville area, right about where the Rivertown Crossing Mall would be right now. They continued on through Wyoming, the south side of Grand Rapids, into East Grand Rapids, and uh, finally into Ada. It dissipated after being on the ground for about 14 miles. Uh, that storm also produced, by the way, uh, almost two inches of rain here in the Grand Rapids area. But a very significant storm here in the in the Kent County and throughout much of southern lower Michigan. Yeah, that sounds like a big one. Bill, what kind of damage did our area see? Well, there were 65 structures that were totally destroyed. Many of these were uh, single family homes. 440 others were significantly damaged. Uh, there were 32 injuries with the storm, but fortunately no fatalities were recorded. Uh, the storms that uh, moved through destroyed a warehouse, a Meyer store, and also a number of other businesses as well. Uh, this particular storm left uh, damage that totaled uh, in excess of $10 million, and that was in uh, 1967 dollars. That was a lot of damage here uh, right around the city. Wow. Well, we've talked about the tornadoes that hit around West Michigan. There were tornadoes that hit all over the Midwest that day as well? That's for sure. We had the 10 tornadoes here in Grand Rapids. Uh, by the way, I should mention that uh, second tornado touched down in Kent County near Cascade. That particular tornado was only on the ground for about a third of a mile, destroyed some outbuildings. There was one that went through Allegan County for 19 miles from Casco Township to Dunningville. That also produced some injuries. Uh, another tornado occurred in Barry County, and that moved up over about a 19-mile path into southern Ionia County up near the Lake Odessa area. Tornadoes hit in parts of Clinton, Ingham, Cass, and also uh, in, of course, uh, Kalamazoo, that area as well. There were 58 tornado fatalities in Illinois, and there were two very deadly tornadoes that moved through the towns of Oak Lawn and Belvedere. In Oak Lawn, many of the fatalities were to people who were in cars. This tornado hitting right around rush hour where there was a maximum uh, number of vehicles on the road. Now, Oak Lawn is a suburb of Chicago uh, to the southwest. And then Belvedere is out toward Rockford. That tornado hit just as the local high school was getting out and kids were getting into buses. There were 13 fatalities and 300 injuries just at the high school there in Belvedere, Illinois. There were a total of 43 tornadoes in the Midwest, and uh, we had to sit down after that particular tornado outbreak, take a look at our uh, tornado safety rules and uh, make sure that those kids were uh, gonna be put into a safer situation the next time a tornado situation like that occurred. Yeah, Bill, that is terribly tragic. Well, 1967 was a big year for weather in West Michigan. Talk a little bit about that. 1967 was amazing. If you were a meteorologist, you had a lot to talk about. First of all, we had the big blizzard of 1967. On January 26th that year, we had over a foot of snowfall along with 40 mile an hour winds. Everything was paralyzed uh, during that particular blizzard, which really hit not only southern Michigan, but also northern Illinois, northwest Indiana, and travel was really at a standstill. Then later on, we had the year without a summer. In 1967, we barely reached 90 degrees just one time. In July, we had five days that were only in the 60s, including the 4th of July, when the high temperature was 68 and the low temperature was a rather chilly 48. So we had more of September-like weather there. So a chilly summer followed that rash of tornadoes that occurred again April 21, 1967. What a year. Bill Steffen, thank you for reminding us how it all went down from the man cave.